All right, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put knockdown texture on a wall. So right now, our wall is roughly finished. Now, by that, I mean that it's not 100% perfect. If we look a little bit closer, we can kind of see here is where the tape is. That's the, the joint right there. There's some lines from the tape. Here, there's a little texture there. It isn't perfect for painting right now. There's some bumps on it. You can see here there's a line. That is because we're putting a knockdown texture on, which means all of that will be covered up. Essentially, the wall is going to look like this. Once it's done, there's texture all over it. It's knocked down, it's a nice thing. So, to do that, once it's roughly finished, you simply do a process of rolling on some sheetrock mud with a paint roller. Now, you can have a different size whichever works best. Uh, sometimes you could do it up close or you could put it on a big stick. Eventually that's what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna place the entire paint roller on like a broom handle and stand about four feet from the wall or five so that you can hit from floor all the way to ceiling in one nice stroke so that everything is even. You want everything to be uniform and nice so that when it sets up and you knock it down, it will look like you did it all in one stroke. That is very important. Now, to find the consistency of your mud, it's very simple. All you need to do is take some regular old sheetrock mud, put it in a pan, and then add a little bit of water. Now, you don't want it too wet because if you get it too wet, then the paper on top of the sheetrock, because it's there's always a little, like a sheet of paper on top of the sheetrock, it's like a cardboard type paper, or a brown paper, like a paper bag. If you have your mud too wet, then that paper is going to buckle and it's gonna bubble up and you're gonna have all kinds of pro problems. It's gonna separate from the sheetrock. So, you want a proper consistency of somewhere around mayonnaise. Then you're gonna get it all on this paint roller, just like that, and it's gonna be very simple. Up and down, that is it. You'll simply roll on your sheetrock mud. Now you want to get, depending on the type of knockdown texture you want, if you want a lot of texture, then you're gonna want a lot of mud. You're gonna need a thick coat. If you just want a little texture, then you just need a little bit of mud. I kinda, of, you saw my wall, I need a bigger texture which means I'm gonna use a thick coat of mud. And you want a roller with more hair, which means more nap. You want a thick nap, something like a half inch or so. That way it leaves a lot more on the wall. So you do it just like that. And you can see there, we've got a pretty thick texture. Then you let that set up for a little while. And after a while, probably like a half an hour, you're gonna knock it down. So we will come back and I'll show you the rest of the process once this sets up. Okay, it's been about a half an hour. Now, once you have all of the mud applied to the wall, it's gonna look a little rough. It's gonna look like kind of the DQ swirl or that Q on the top of a cone. You may have to apply more than one coat of mud in order to get that effect, but that is okay. Once that happens, you have a couple of options. You can either use what is called a knockdown knife. It's usually plastic. It's got a foam or pad on here. Or you can use a putty knife. Now, if you use a putty knife, I recommend taking the two corners right here and a needle nose pliers and bending them back. That way when you pull down, you're not gonna catch one of those corners. Now, when you do the knockdown process, I like to go down, but you can go across or sideways or whatever you want to do. Basically, all you're going to do is lightly graze the top of the wall. So you're going to kind of put it right up here and just lightly slide. So you're almost not even doing much. You're just kind of pulling the texture down. That is it. So you can see here how it kind of just bent everything down. Right there, I pushed too hard and that's what'll happen. But you can very easily fix that just by kind of texturing over it. And you're just gonna slide up or down however you want to go. 
and you can see there there is a nice beautiful flattened knockdown wall texture and if we go over to the original wall texture right there you can see that one is a little bit more popcornish but once it's painted this will look just like it so that is it that is how you do knockdown wall texture simply roll on the sheetrock mud let it set up a little bit knock it down i'll have links in the description below for everything that you need